I have heard about this thing called mole, but I thought it was a myth. Hey, 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 hey. Moles are full of fascinating things. Do you have anything with thicker carbs? Prepare to be pillaged! Yeah! Oh dear. That's a baby village. Makes sense to keep them all in one place. I would like you to honor these coupons. Let's just a uh, cut out photo of Ryan Seacrest. FX is what we do in the shadows. Premieres July 13th on FX. Stream on Hulu. What's the old gang been up to? You're becoming very sloppy covering your vampirisms in public. Be mad to be village! <laughs> so worth it. FX is what we do in the shadows. To live long, they have no use for your song. You're dead, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead, and out of this world. You're listening to League Podcast, The Vampire Councils, Season 5, Episode 1. I'm Matt Derson. I'm Clay Inferno, and reminding you that we're also going to cover Episode 2. Oh, that's season I, five. You're right. We just <laughs> talked about this. They came in, yeah, and it was a was loose a thing in the script that I could just say, yes, we're covering both episodes in release order. Uh, so it's to right. stay on top of how the what we do in the shadows is releasing season five. So if they do release two at the end for some reason, which maybe they might, we'll do it that <laughs> way too. So that's just, we well, decided yeah. that. As they release them, most, a lot of shows will do two at the beginning. I, I never quite got I feel it. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why they do that, but that's what a lot of a lot of shows do now. I feel like one of one of the Star Wars shows they release like three, I think, or maybe yeah, it was I a think Marvel it was like show. Obi Wan or something. Yeah, it was and like it was like there was once. only six. I think there was only six or something. I don't know, maybe not, but I feel like three is a lot because we only get ten. And I think that right. we love this show so much that we kind of want to stretch it out as yeah, much as possible. I agree. And it's, they're only a half an hour, so it's not like a time crunch uh, necessarily, but, um, you know, yeah, it's weird. I don't know. But hey, they want people to watch. Maybe they figure it's easier to hook them with two. Yeah, probably. Because it's already, you know, now the actors are on strike. The writers are on strike. We're lucky we got this before yeah, this was all any of that should happen. Anyway, but yeah, man. And then that's all also kind of how I think they, they deal with like streaming properties. They can kind of go, oh well, it doesn't need to, you know, we can release the two. Right. Yeah, everything's you know different. But uh yeah, so we had two episodes this week of what we do in the shadows. The first one is just called The Mall. <laughs> uh, the Mall. Which, the Mall. <laughs> I, I love it though. It starts off like well, so it's about it's been 16 days, they say, since the last season ended. And as you remember, the, the cliffhanger was Guillermo asked Derek to turn him into a vampire. He had him, he handed him a bag of money. He's like, turn me into a vampire. And Derek was like, sure. Yeah, it was all the insurance money, or, or not the insurance money, but the right. actual cash from Nodge's nightclub. Right. And, that they were yeah. both sort of hoarding, but then yeah. they, they, it burnt down. And, you know, you remember all that. So Guillermo took his share, gave it all to Derek, and he went into the convenience store that he works in and, like, turned me into a vampire. Starts off, though, the very first bit is Laszlo saying, there's something wrong with Gizmo. Like, you know, I mean, that's my terrible... Uh, <laughs> and he Laszlo says, impression. I'm going to get be the one that gets to the bottom of it. Because yeah. he's the, the king of because bottoms. Because I'm, I'm the king of bottoms. <laughs> and then, but they, show, they said he's still a perfectly adequate familiar, which is great. They show him actually doing work, like dusting and doing all the things that he does around the house while they do nothing. But he's like, he's a perfectly adequate. Like, I mean, I think he's more than adequate, but whatever. That's what Laszlo says. Well, but yeah, Laszlo can't cool. even remember his name because when they go out to dinner, he's like, Graham, do you think? <laughs> he calls him Graham. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's like know, always he calling him different names. Uh, so, yeah, we have then we have the opening credits. We should point out, of course, uh, Colin Robinson is back to being an adult, as we all uh, remember from the last episode of season four. So and um, he's but, entering the workforce and kind of yes. like Jennifer Aniston. He, he he actually does like talking about his flair because he's <laughs> he says that the opportunities for uh, being an energy vampire in a retail yeah. setting are, are vast. And yeah, he's it's really too, appreciating he can't. It. I mean, it was great because, yeah, he, it's kind of funny. He used to have that office 
job and now he's back like he wanted to work somewhere but he wanted to go somewhere other than that because yeah the, the opportunity to feed as you say on an energy vampire and he is a really funny he works in a steakhouse the way he treats the customer they show him interacting with the customers and it's just hilarious he does all those funny things that they do when do you ever go to a restaurant they do the trick where i don't write anything down but he's calling robinson and he's just like not even right, but he's also has a note pen and notepad with in his yeah. hand. Yeah, and the guy says, are, "Are you getting all this?" Yeah, I don't write anything down. But yeah, he, he, he goes up says, "I think I know what you want." Yeah, I think I know what you want. And also, like the, I think the funniest bit is there's this couple obviously breaking up, and the lady is crying, and he goes over and he goes, yeah. and he like dings the glasses like off yeah. the vase in the middle of the thing. He's like, hey, just checking in and see how things are going for you. Yeah, he's, he's like, start thinking about reach. dessert. Yeah, he's like, it's dessert. Yeah, start thinking about dessert. the water or whatever, yeah. <laughs> <How's it? laughs> and then he's like, saying other stuff like, what are you guys thinking about munching on? <laughs> he's so funny. It is, it is great. Uh, the, the lines in there are great. So they're having like this meeting. We're kind of just catching up. Nandor says he's in a good place. Because he's he reading, found the book. I'm okay. Yeah. Reading, I'm okay. You're okay. <laughs> but all he gets out of it of... is like a determination of not whether anybody's actually okay, but just like telling people that's okay. Like we were trying to figure yeah. out whether we were going to do episode one or, or two earlier over text. And I was like, we, you were like, we'll figure it out. And I was like, we will figure it out. And that's okay. That's and That's okay. okay. I just wish they went. That, I feel like that storyline had some legs. They didn't really go anywhere with that, unless you know they didn't do it anything beyond just him saying that you're okay in a few instances. I was kind of hoping for a little more there, but oh, that's because okay. of just like that's the, okay. Uh, the fact. great, <laughs> it is okay. A lot. Well, because of the great. Okay, we had the cliffhanger, but we have the great reset. Like everybody has to return right. to zero at the end of every season. Yeah, now, obviously basically. Guillermo hasn't returned to zero, but well, almost, in, you know, we don't know really. Well, the interesting, yeah, he's not exactly a vampire yet. He can still eat food. He's he doesn't like drink blood. He he still he go, in, go the in the sun. sun. He can't yeah. turn into a bat. So like, he's, and he says, my favorite line. He says, "I don't feel any sexier," which is my favorite. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> yeah, anyway, there was another great part, too. There were, well, there were a couple of great lines at the beginning. That I just, they're having this meeting, and Guillermo called this meeting, and they're all kind of, like, not paying attention because he's he's not really a vampire to them. And they even laugh when he suggests that he could one day become a vampire. They just laugh and laugh. Nandor says, like, oh, I assure you, yeah, we're not laughing with you. We're laughing at you. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. There was another thing where I don't—I forget how they got all this, but he said something about my, you know, Laszlo said something about my sexual relations or whatever. But apparently, he just took a Cosmo quiz that said he was Kim Cattrall, like which which Sex in the City woman he most resembled. Yeah, he's like I because he said I, that he yeah. went to the sex doctor and he got a test, and right. <laughs> Kira was like, "No, you didn't. You read Cosmo." Yeah, and took a test. I am. I don't know who this Kim Cattrall is, but it, she's a sex goddess or something like that. Yeah. Anyway, so they're trying to figure out though. Like Lazlo brings up, I think something's Giz Gizmo. There's something different about Gizmo, and Nandor thinks it's because they forgot his birthday. <laughs> so they're like, we have to take him out to a birthday dinner, and so they go to Colin Robinson's steakhouse. And he waits on them, and they're like, oh, Gizmo isn't here yet. He's he's riding on Uber or something. like, Or he's it's not, he doesn't use the word riding. He yeah, he like, says he arrives upon an Uber. Upon, that's what it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which so, is definitely old-timey. Like, yeah, the he other rides upon, thing, he, arri he will arrive upon carriage later. Right. You know, I watch a lot the of other... those old movies like that. <laughs> The other funny thing, I, I just had to backtrack for a quick second because this is one of my favorite lines when he's, they're doing the face to face, you know, the whatever they call that when he talks to the camera and he says, says I don't think it's because we forgot his birthday. He says, I, but if that's true, what a bitch. <laughs> so he calls they keep like giving Laszlo lines and then they just cut away. It's like yeah. so funny. 
I know. I feel like they're almost just like, just say whatever you want at this point, you know. So they go to the restaurant and we find out while they're waiting for him to arrive. They also say, just bring up some food so we don't look obvious. And he's like, all right, jalapeno poppers, jalapeno poppers, jalapeno poppers. And then he <laughs> says so one for the table in French or something. Which yeah, like I don't reminded remember me of the, the, the French you dropped on me the other day when we were out. The Bon Hummy. Bon homie. Bon homie, yeah. So we find out Nadja's, Nadja, one of her, because she was drinking the lick, what was it, liquor blood last season. She got kind of, she, she's kicked the problem. She doesn't drink liquor blood anymore, but she did sit on her doll's legs and broke them. So now she has those, those kind of legs where like if you press the button on the foot, it d- dances <laughs> around. And so the doll is very mad at her and, She's like, don't touch that button. But she does. You know, they do. It's hilarious. Anyways, um, so we're finding out sort of through the course of the episode, because at first Guillermo doesn't want to talk to the camera crew. And then he finally says, okay, fine. I'll tell you. And he's like, you were there. So we get a flashback to what happened with Derek. Yeah, so they're, really they're in the back of the 7-Eleven yeah. or whatever. Right. With, uh, <laughs> with Guillermo taking off his, like, precious grandma sweater so yeah, he doesn't get any, like, any blood, blood, blood on it and like of course Derek is not up to the task yeah Derek is not very he's, he says he's done this but he's he's squeamish and, and whatever and and then of course also Guillermo is kind of like oh I don't know it's, it, the funny thing is too when he says something about Nick and because he says why does why didn't you get Andy to do it and he's like <laughs> and the word. Well, that makes a whole lot of sense. He's like, oh, that Actually, explains so a- many different things. That's yeah. like whenever I like realize that I've been getting someone's name wrong in my head. Right. Oh yeah. So, but it's funny they thought it was Andy. He's like, Andy is such a weird name for a vampire. <laughs> and he says, well, no, he would do it. He's he's done so many nice things for me. And then he sits yeah, there. For right. a second. He's like, what are you doing? He's like, the camera crew will edit in a montage of. Oh, oh, you know, all nice things. <laughs> and there is just no montage. Yeah, that's never done funny. anything nice for him. That's kind of like a breaking the fourth wall, breaking the fourth wall, breaking right. the fourth that's wall, like, like cute. Right. That's break the, the, the 16th wall or something, right? Yeah. Yeah. When he finally bites him, blood goes, he like nicked an artery or something, and the blood just goes everywhere and it gets on the camera. I love it. It's just, it's really great special effects. It's the blood. Oh, yeah. This episode especially is so good. That was all flashback, though. So, yeah, when he, he finally shows up at the table for his birthday dinner and... In an Uber, he tells the guy he's going to take these. I yeah, w- like, thank oh, you so much. I will give you five stars. And he goes, see, you guys are there. He just starts yelling at the camera crew. <laughs> <I know. laughs> but when he gets there, they're still laughing about what how goofy it would be if he were a vampire and imagine him flying around as a bat and all this stuff. And they're just laughing at him. And, like, him. with his little legs and shitting on everything. <laughs> I know. I know. That is great. And they're like, why do you why do all your stories about me revolve around shit? <laughs> After you said that, I noticed in this episode and the second episode how many of the jokes yeah. were poop related. And I was yeah. very happy. So he says, Well, what if I or like he kind of brings up a hypothetical situation? What if I he doesn't even say Derek, but he suggests no, oh he, he says said, Dracula. Dracula. Yeah. Like, he says, what if so I like kind of like doing that thing where you're like laughing along? You're like, <laughs> yeah, I know that would be silly, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, imagine if I was just like walking down the street and like Dracula, like maybe a vampire. Yeah, and, and everyone they, becomes they, deadly serious. Yeah, so this is going to be. I feel like this is going to be one of the themes of the season, probably when they say, if you are, a, if a familiar gets turned by another vampire that is not his master, that is like the worst thing in vampire culture and Nandor says if that ever happened I would kill you and I would have to kill myself and I would not like to do that he says <laughs> right know. right yeah and they all say that it's like the biggest shame to, to yeah. not yeah to not be made a vampire by I guess right. it never really happened they kind of say like well that would be like really shameful like that's, yeah that would it's not be gonna happen because it doesn't happen yeah. it's the worst thing no ever. one no vampire no one would ever do that right Anyway, then they kind of have this weird, you know, because, oh, then, you know, Gizmo uh, is very serious. He's coming out. I love he's got like 10 to go bags because they, Colin Robinson brought him all this food. (laughs) Yeah, all the jalapeno poppers. Yeah. 
and chocolate so, pudding. Um, but he's like, well, I'm just going to go to the mall. Like, they're about to turn into – they actually do turn into bats and fly away from him. He's like, well, I'm just going to go to the mall. And then they just come back and appear back again. And they're like, what is what this, is this mouth? mouth? <laughs> and they're right near a mall. Guillermo says something like, "I'm gonna, I want to go to Foot Locker. I want to get my glasses." So, yeah. like the Foot Locker thing comes up later. But <laughs> he says, yeah. "I want to go to Foot Locker." He doesn't say, "I want to get a Foot Locker." Yeah, I, I need to get. A... So yeah, they kind of you know, there's some hilarity you know in the mall. They're both you know they do this wacky sort of fish out well, of water type stuff. In yeah, the mall. Laszlo is like walking through the mall, and like some. Lady's like, do you want to try this like perfume? And he's like, uh, he's fuck, like off. fuck off. He's, <laughs> he's like, and he's like, I don't have time for cheap sex potions. And then oh, he does sure. like some. I hopefully Matt Berry improvises. He's like, look at this place, uh, uh, London shoes. He's like, if they were really London shoes, they would have shit all over them. Yeah, they'd be covered in shit. And then he, he like, there's like a lingerie place or something. And he's like, oh, that's probably a cover for a brothel or something like that. <laughs> yeah, it's like bikini barn. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, it was like the kitty. But he's following Guillermo around. and so Yeah, because he's suspicious. He suspects something's going on. So Guillermo go- goes to get his new glasses, and the woman comes out and says, "Is have you, how long have you had this prescription? He said, since he was like three or four. And she says, you don't need glasses anymore. Like, your vision is actually better than 2020. Your vision is perfect. And he's like, oh, well, can you put lenses in here that just aren't, you know, like she's like, you should actually take those off. You're gonna hurt your eyes. And he's like, mm-hmm. can you put lenses in that are so that people? Yeah. I don't want to look any different. Yeah. And she's like, okay. And meanwhile, Nandor is riding around on the merry-go-round or whatever, going like, ah, <laughs> like whatever. But so yeah, like that's just another, I guess, part of being a vampire, but not full vampire. But he doesn't need his glasses. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, it's kind of like in uh, Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. Right. He, he's yeah, like, you're right. Oh, uh, oh, that's what I thought of immediately. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, I didn't really make that connection. But. So they go back, and um, he's sort of putting Nandor to bed. Nandor, you know, they're talking about the whole familiar thing. He's, like, brushing his hair. It's so goofy. Yeah, like, do the other side. Yeah. And then he, he says, I got you a gift. I got you a foot locker. And it's just this <laughs> big... <laughs> I was hoping there were going to be like severed feet in it, but uh, that would have been awesome, right? Yeah. And it turns out, so yeah, gear. It kind of ends. Guillermo is sad because he's not a vampire yet. He ends up sleeping in the Foot Locker, but it barely closes. <laughs> like, it's yeah, just, but that's like it's his old a big room, yellow isn't it? Case. Like yeah, it underneath is. the staircase. Absolutely. Like yeah, he's like, oh, I'll put it, this in the. He, yeah, I don't know. He wants to feel like a vampire, but right. You know, I don't. I don't think he needs to sleep in a in a casket. <laughs> yeah, so like even like was... well, back in the you know, they kind of like keep cu- cutting back to the Derek stuff, right? He says like the scientific name for whatever bat is. He goes Tur- form of blah blah blah. Guillermo tries it, and he does actually like his ears like pop out. Yeah, that's just it though. Just ears. He can't yeah, turn into ears. a bat. Just ears. I feel like that was in the second episode. So if you want to segue into the second episode. Oh, yeah, sure. I, I guess I was just That's mixing fine. the two up. Uh, That's so fine. Does, sure, does sure. It, it end up, it ends, that episode ends up with, yeah, just he's under the staircase, he's, he's right? In the, he's in the, in the, in the, in the, uh, in the yeah. foot locker. It's just a, <laughs> yeah. And yeah, yeah, it kind of does end just kind of like Guillermo kind of being like, hmm, sad. Is he trying to figure out what's going on? And yeah, we'll get um, there, obviously. But, you know, we were talking about like, why they decided to put these two out. I feel like this thing with Guillermo is kind of like told over the, they're introducing the problem, you know? Guillermo's not really a full vampire yet. And they explore that over the first two episodes. So people can be like caught up and like, see like where the rest of the season's going to go. Yeah. That's, I feel like that's definitely going to be the season long sort of storyline that goes through like, you know, until, yeah, and we'll get there, like you say. As yeah, you say. but yeah, we get as we get a do. good uh, a- Anthony Antonazek, uh, Sha- a good Shawnee episode, episode two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sean is in the session. This the title of the second episode is called "The Night Out with the Guys," and so it starts <laughs> off with 
with Laszlo and Nandor. And I love it. They're like getting ready to record like a little sit down thing. Like, oh, right. They kind of like have the, the mic check about yeah. how. Uh, and he's yeah, like, audio Laszlo's recording like... test. Audio recording. And he's test. like, yeah, they, they mentioned in the first episode how like Guillermo was like, you guys are hypnotizing people way too much. And they showed Nando yeah. like trip at a basketball game <laughs> that he has to hypnotize like the whole basketball. Yeah, the whole, uh, everyone stadium. in the crowd <laughs> said they did not see him trip. <laughs> Just to say he didn't see him trip. And yeah. then like, uh, yeah, Guillermo is like, uh, he's like, the Staten Island is like, you know, the whole borough is like getting dumber because you guys keep right. just hypnotizing everybody. <laughs> and I was like, hey, we're in Staten Island. It doesn't matter. No one's going to know yeah. the difference. Right. So, yeah, that is kind of the theme of this episode. First, he's like, you're using, you, you, that you're hypno, uh, Laszlo sort of getting on him for using hypnosis for everything. And then they have a little meeting where Nadja is like complaining that her life is in the shitter, her club burnt down, and she can't figure it out. And, Nando says, I have a, oops, I'm sorry. I just kicked something under the desk here. He's like, I have a, maybe a solution. He's like, you're just going to hypnotize my wife. And like, so he's like, no, I wasn't. But, uh, <laughs> he obviously was. Uh, but then the guide comes back. So we get Christian Shaw is back as the guy. Oh, yeah. She just yeah. sort of flies in and she's like, hey, I'm back. And they kind of just like look around and she's like, I, I was just sitting around in the vampire council chambers. And yeah. I wondered if you even knew I was gone. Ha, ha, ha. And they're all just kind of like, hmm. yeah, like they didn't even notice. That <laughs> they kind of like gone. treat her like they do Guillermo, you know, like they kind of treat her like human. You know, they're like yeah. kind of like, yeah. I uh, what's her name again? You know what I mean? Like they're, they're, right. they're oh, perpetual forgetfulness. Hi. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. And even Colin Robinson is like, when she moves from one place to the other in the living room and Colin's like reading a paper, he's like, I actually was going to go sit over there in a couple minutes. Yeah. And she's like, yeah. oh, and okay, fine. She, it's like, oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> he's obviously yeah, not moved. sitting there. <laughs> yeah, what's the matter? Where's the matter where he sits? Minutes. Yeah, she's sitting there talking and talking about like, oh, I haven't seen you guys or what's going on. He goes, and he's reading his paper and he says, oh, it looks like we're going to get a higher than normal amount of precipitation this this month. Yeah, and, yeah, and like, even yeah. like Laszlo and Nando like, were like, like, yeah, 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 you know, yeah. They're like acknowledging it. Yeah, they'd yeah, rather they're more hang interested out with in Colin that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, than Kristen Trell. So funny. Laszlo and Nando have this guy's night out with Sean and his friends. I don't know if these are the same people. Have these people been on before? I don't. I feel like they have some of these friends. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I remember. Could, so. could be. Who cares? I'm not uh, sure. But I love this. So they go to a wine. Sean is like, yeah. When I was younger, you know, I did. Uh, it was different. But now I go out. I, I I have some wine. You know, it's a little different. And like he's trying to make it seem like he's more sophisticated or something. The, but yeah, like, the bon homie. The bon homie, right? But they, they don't just get shit faced. <laughs> You know, he's like, ah, oh, we used to just get go out to get shit faced. Now I don't just do it to get drunk, you know. And they're all all these guys are sitting around and they they wondering why Nandor and Laszlo never drink. And Nandor like is very obvious about. It. He's like, well, I drink something else that is also red or whatever. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And, he's and, trying to. He's doing the re double secret reverse. I don't drink wine. Right. Like he he tells <laughs> right. that joke. In the in like a backwards Nandor, what we do in the shadows way that references the joke but doesn't actually say it, you know? Right. Lazo is trying other to... red things. Yeah. And right. Lazo's like, oh, he needs the red bone vodka guy. Yeah, and he's like, you need to be a little more charming, is what he says. Like, you know, you need to and so yeah, he says something yeah, red bull and vodka. He's like the reason we don't drink is because we pregame. And we don't eat because we would be <laughs> and throwing Sean goes, up all over. Economically conscious, <laughs> budgetary <laughs> conscious, like that. That's and right. yeah, because while well, Laszlo's argument to Nandor is, I use my, a vampire should use his charm and his wit rather than right. just hypnotizing rather than everybody. Just hypnotizing people and we'll time. get there. But yeah, that's what he says. I love that whole bit you know like it's because it, it comes back around yeah and we'll get there but uh and then uh and then sean is like you, this is an eight dollar bottle of wine i know <laughs> that was the ice part. Cubes in it. i know he's mad at his friend who puts ice in his his wine which is already only eight dollars like they were talking about how sophisticated they were 
Yeah. And they're drunk by this point. Like, they, so he's like, yeah, oh, he's like, he's like, it's all the French do it. It's exactly all the French do it. He's like, your cousin's from Quebec. Yeah, right. And then they get this huge fight and they crash through the window. Yeah, so funny. And it's hilarious. Cops, uh, the woman who owns the, or own, I don't know, so the manager of the restaurant or whatever calls the cops and he's like, don't do that, Jenny. And she's like, that's not my he, name. No, he says, she says like the thing times. that's even funnier is it's Jimmy. So, oh, Jimmy. We're really You're sorry right. about this, Jimmy. Jimmy. And she goes, it's not my name. And she yeah. does it like a she couple of times. Phone, he he keeps cutting. Yeah. Jimmy will get this all cleaned up. That's not my name. That's not yeah. my name. <laughs> and then, like, a cop comes, a cop comes, and they're like, hey, it's whatever his name is, you know, and they're like, hey, we went to high school. And he's like, oh, you're the famous Trevor, I think. Was it Trevor? <laughs> I don't remember who it was yet. So, like, they, they kind of played, like, the, hey, you're real buddies. And, yeah, Laszlo charms the cop where it would be easy to just be like right like he's you know just hypnotize him and he won't remember it the other funny thing that i that i like is that when the cop shows up the other guys have all kind of run off <laughs> and when they see it's a yeah. buddy they come back but yeah, yeah like yeah, yeah then they like they handcuff his legs well, you know his feet yeah because they're like whatever. old friends like not that we would do yeah. this to each other but he the, sean is like on the ground he's Kills the cops handcuffs and he handcuffs his feet together. The other I want to bring attention to one of my my favorite line of this whole episode when the cop shows up, he's like, "What's going on here?" And <laughs> Laszlo goes, "Who the fuck's this Bonanza?" Like, like what the hell is that? <laughs> and then Laszlo goes, "Certain constables would see this and wonder what is happening." <laughs> and then Nandor yeah. goes, "This window exploded. That much we know." He keeps saying. Yeah. The that much exploded. we know. Uh, that much we know. Anyway, yeah, but they handcuff him together. They handcuff him together, like his feet together. He falls down. They steal his keys. They get his car. They're drunk and they drive off. They steal a cop in his car. police car. Yeah, it's it's crazy. <laughs> and when they get back to these guys, they cut back to them later, and they've driven the car. And you can see the car is like in pieces and it's upside down. And Sean gets out. He's like, "That was some real GTA Five shit." But that was just great. Cause I love Grand Theft Auto, so. Uh, but yeah, and then one of the guys finds a gun. He's like, well, yeah, we shouldn't be, you know, it's really bad for a cop to lose his gun. You should empty the clip. And the guy shoots it up in the air, and then they get yeah. another big fight. And Lazo keeps trying to, like, charm them, you know, without hypnotizing them. But then the other, like, more cops show up, and then the next scene is, like, they're in jail. So like it's and they call I that guy a snitch because he like was oh, shooting yeah, up right. the guy. He's like, empty the clip. And he's like, I was emptying the clip, like <laughs> emptying it into the sky. Yeah. He's like, not know what I meant. <laughs> he's like the the other cops are coming. He's like, ah, oh, because you know, Joey's a snitch. These other cops are coming. <laughs> <laughs> I know, yeah. The None cop, of it made any sense. It's so funny. Like, yeah, they're like mad that the cop that they handcuffed, like it stole his car, snitched on them. Yeah, like, but then, so yeah, uh, Nandor says, maybe we could hypnotize them. And he's like, yeah, if you want to be a coward. Like, <laughs> so, like, against using anti-hypno, kind of yeah. Yeah. But then the next scene, they are in jail, and he's like, well, and so I, I like this, this bit. They finally come back around. He's like, you know, you could probably use some hypnosis here. And he's like, okay, well, why don't you do that? And he's like, I'm not very good at it, which is really – so, like, Laszlo so and Nandor have, the like, whole a moment. Reason, yeah, the, the whole reason Laszlo is, like, bummed about the hypnotism is because he's not that great at it. Yeah, and he yeah. kind of – he's like, that's why I've been, like, whatever the British expression is, having a row, or I don't remember what – Yeah, uses yeah. one of those British expressions. But, yeah, it's, and so, like, that's not – I think mean, Nandor and Laszlo almost never have, like, a – like a buddy kind of moment. Right, right, know? right. They're usually like, I really like at each that. other, you know, or like then, like they came around like that episode where Colin, young Colin, Colin Robinson, and they were like in that cabin in the woods. They kind of like oh, yeah. were at each other's <laughs> right. throats, but they also kind of bonded a lot on that yeah. episode too. Yeah, so it's it's nice. They have this nice moment where, where he gets them out of jail, but apparently he says that he, he told them Laszlo was Tom Selleck. <laughs> Yeah, from Tom Blue Selleck from Blue Bloods. When he says, "You're the cop with the mustache," 
It's like Tom Selleck. Uh, no, he Blue said Blood. that I. He said, I forget who was who, but he said somebody yeah. was uh, Captain Sully Sullenberger, and the other one was Tom <laughs> Selleck from Blue Bloods. <laughs> And then so every time everybody all the cops are like saluting them and like saying yeah. thank you, Mr. Selleck. Yeah, like someone that. you can hear in the background, someone just says, Thank you, Mr. Selleck. And then yeah, he, <laughs> he gets them to promote the the other cop, you know, like, oh, he should be promoted. So it's great. He uses uh, hypnosis for, for good, not just to avoid, you know, people seeing him trip or whatever. Yeah, sorry, so like funny. We we can't we shouldn't skip over because there's other stuff going on. Well, maybe, that, like the, I, I was yeah. thinking of it just then. It's like there's the three. It's it's split up into three sections. Yeah. So we got the last right. slow and Nandor and the and Sean, which is like I feel like any Sean episode is always a special episode. <laughs> you know, yeah, I love Sean. That's true. Yeah. And then uh, but then you have like the guide and uh <laughs> and Nadja and Nadja doll are like hanging out like there were there was an episode last season where they were doing that too and <laughs> and nadra keeps saying like i don't have any close female friends and she's like you don't yeah, ha she have any and she's like you don't have any <laughs> no she's like no nobody understands me and she's like like well i understand you she's like i know but you know it doesn't count basically is what she's saying yeah basically that's what she says and I, she's like i thought we kind of bonded over that whole nightclub thing finds out that Nadja has a hex on her, which is different right. than a curse, apparently. A hex. Because yep. she keeps throwing this picture in, like, she keeps ripping up this picture and throwing it in the fire, and it keeps just reappearing. So they got to find out what the deal is with this picture. They ask Colin Robinson to, I guess, like, look up the language. And he's like, well, you could just go down to little, I can't, I got to remember the name like, of this place. Ax Axios and, or something. Ax <laughs> yeah, it's Nadja's, like, home. Wherever it's like country, little Greece, uh, but like yeah. basically little Greece. And she's like, "There's a little Greece, like right near us." Did you do this whole time? Antitraxos. Antitraxos. Yeah, Colin whatever, Robinson's yeah. just like, yeah, it's just kind of like a four block by two block radius. It's not like really a big deal. And she's like, "There's yeah. been <laughs> Antitraxos yeah. like right she's, near me this whole time." Yeah. And she's like, "You never asked." Yeah, I know. Like she's thrilled actually, and so yeah, they um. Antipaxos. I'm I'm just looking this up really quick. Antipaxos. <laughs> uh, yeah. I guess it, yeah, there's a real place in Greece. Antipaxos. About that. So yeah. Anyway. So like yeah, she goes and she goes into this like diner and she talks to um, I mean she talks to like someone and yeah, because she's and, basically and they, speaking Greek, right? Like right. Um, yeah. And they find out she must commit acts of kindness to remove the hex. So I feel like that's another storyline that will sort of keep going. If not, <laughs> right. And, and earlier kind of... too, it's like it's talking to Kristen Shaw. He's like, "Oh, I found the documentation or whatever." Like, so have you ever, you know, committed like have you ever been mean to anyone? And she's like, "No, never." <laughs> right. Like never. Like, nope. Never. never. That was that was brilliant. So I I assume yeah, like that's gonna keep going. That's gonna be a thread that keeps going. Yeah. Yeah, so we have this this part just cracked me up. So Gizmo and uh, Derek yep, are trying to yep, figure out yep. what's going on, and they go to the Baron. So we get a Baron appearance. Right, yeah, there's some more, great. like, you know, just, like, jumping around a little episode, like, the, the yeah. three main timelines here. Like, there's more, like, in the back of Derek. Because it must oh, be that, it's that same night. Yeah. It's that same night, yeah. The, uh, like that they keep cutting to and like the is something like it's not exactly hypnotism but or maybe it is like a low power like unintentional Derek hypnotism like his supervisor Nate or whatever is like kind of coming in but like never like looking at Derek or Guillermo <laughs> but he has his like head down in like a clipboard every time he says that the toilet's clogged yeah and that Derek needs to go fit it finish it and he's like you can't finish it. You have to make me into a vampire. He's like, I know, you know, Nate's always saying I have bad task management skills. First this, right. then that. But he's like, <laughs> but if it. I don't do that, if I don't go clean it now, people just go on top of what's already there and nobody wants that. <laughs> That's so gross. That was uh, so funny. That was so funny. But then like, yeah, so like when they're back there, like his supervisor comes in and says the toilets again. <laughs> you know, it's like same yeah. from the first episode. But yeah, he never looks at him directly. Again. All right, he, he never, never looks, looks at, at him. him. Yeah, because he because so... one of the times Derek's like on like laid out because he's been passed out, 
And yeah, Guillermo's he, like, he, and there's yeah. blood fucking everywhere, but this, the supervisor never sees it. Never even looks at it. Yeah. But yeah, so he does, they do, so they go to the Baron to find out if there's, if, how long does it take? You know what I mean? Because he said, how long did it take when you became a vampire? Derek's is like, ah, six hours. It's been like three weeks. And Guillermo's not, not there yet. He can only grow the little ears, like the bat ears, like he said. So they go and he's like, oh, I don't know. I love the Baron. He's like, no, I'm not sure. And he's you know, like, what do you think? And the, and the sire is back there. And he goes, Bleh. and I love that he's putting together like a popsicle stick house. Like, like a <laughs> castle or something. Yeah. yeah. And they're speaking like, they, because the sire is like the oldest vampire like ever. Thousands right? and thousands of years old. And yeah. even this, um, you know, I said it before, like, they were saying like there's there's kind of like no precedent for this to ever happen. Like you're talking to the Baron and the oldest vampire ever, and they're like, ah, yeah. that's never they're happened. Like, like that's uh, fucked yeah, up. They think, that's nope. they're ba all but basically like that's fucked up. That would never happen. Yeah, like, that's weird. So like they're like, what if you tried it again? What yeah, would oh, happen? Full on Baron too. Like he's grown back. He looks like Doug yeah, Jones. I know he's, he's not, not all he's burnt like full... anymore. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, he looks great. So, yeah, they're like, well, we could try it again. My neighbor was running his leaf blower all day. <laughs> Sounds like John's neighbor, our our podcast, fellow podcaster, right, John. Right, right, always totally. Problems with his neighbor uh, blowing his leaf. But he's like, he's doing it during the day when I'm trying to sleep, which, of course, is probably the only time you would have to use your leaf blower. <laughs> but yeah. Whatever. So they go over and they're like, okay, you try to, you know, bite it, you know. And he's like, I love this guy. He's like, yes, master, or whatever. And he's like, yeah. You, yeah, okay, that's you how they, they think that uh, Guillermo could, if he's bitten again by another yeah. vampire, like maybe they think that he'll like try to get more of the, I don't know, for better use of yeah, the word. He'll, actually like, become he'll a like get the, the vampire juice like activated in him more because he's getting right. bit properly or something. Right, right. So then like, they, they he's like, how do you feel? He's like, I feel pretty good. You know, I got to, and he just, like, he just explodes. It's hilarious. And I did that not is also that very gross and, yeah. uh, like, awesome, but very, I know. very gross. I know. It was so great. And he was in mid sentence, like we said. Like, he just, like, he said, yeah, he's I don't know. I got this. Oh, yeah. He's it... trying to get his, his, yeah, like his tractor or whatever. Yeah, his leaf blower or whatever, his lawnmower. He's like, yeah, I'm trying to get this thing fixed. And it just, like, it just explodes all over everything. So, Obviously, trying to make someone into a vampire twice does not work. <laughs> yeah, it's something act something activates there, and yeah, so she blows. So he blows up. So yeah, like uh, at the end, they all come together in Ant Antique Paxos, and I guess and like Laszlo actually goes up to to Nan uh, Guillermo, and he's like, I know what's going on here. And he's like, oh, I didn't know. I just paid Derek to make me a vampire. I didn't know it would be a big... He's like, what? I thought you just had the shits. <laughs> like, <laughs> right. <laughs> right. I so thought you had the shits. So another shit joke about Guillermo. But um, so he's like, well, you can't tell anybody. You know, they sort of have like this thing. So now Laszlo knows. And then he's like, well, what if you had Nandor make you a vampire? And they cut back to the guy exploding. <laughs> And they're like, and he's like, I don't think that would work. So, uh, and then yeah. Laszlo ends the episode with the much like the last one that kind of ended sort of like not abruptly, but like on a good punchline. Laszlo goes, Well, you're fucked. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Basically, you're fucked. Yeah. And that's, I, I like this. I like this is where they're going, right? Like, he has to. I don't know. Like, what's going to happen? He has to either. I, I, I don't know. What do you? My, I would bet real Predict, money. Our beginning of the season uh, predictions. Right. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? I mean, I don't, I, I'd I don't like know. to hear yours first, maybe. Okay. I have no. I feel like by the end of the season, they're going to have to find some spell or something that will make Guillermo just a human again, right? Like, somehow that's going to be the only way out of it. Right, he can't go forward, right? Because he might explode. Yeah. So the only thing to do is go back and fix it. 
and make him not a vampire, just make him a regular human. So I don't know. All, all I could think of, all I thought of, which is, I don't know, like short sighted to me, and they probably won't really do this. I was just like, it, in, it, I'm not even saying he would use his, his wishes this way, but all I could think of was that they, they have the story device of like the wishes, right? So like it'll be something equally as like big as the wishes that's gonna either make, Guillermo human again at like the mm. very last episode, the very last minute of the, you know, for the reset or, you know, there'll probably be a cliffhanger there too, but I was just thinking right. like something, you know, yeah. Much along with like what you said, some sort of magical device, a wish, right. a, a vampire like thing. They could also <clears throat> yeah. actually, you know, I was also thinking about too, I don't know how it would exactly work, but like, they're kind of like trying different things. Like what if every episode they try, like, Oh, um, what if you, this is a dumb example. Like, what if you had sex with Kristen Shaw? Would that make you very, whatever, like every right. episode, like, do they try a different thing? You know, that's what I, yeah, it, it's not going to be till the finale. I think that they would do that, but, uh, just knowing the way the show sometimes will just turn everything back at the end of the season. Which is fine. I mean, that's not. I'm not. And he also has. Yeah, we but, have to deal with the that this is a relationship television show between Nandor or Andy and right. Guillermo. So we yep. have to kind of. Andy. <laughs> you. We have to anticipate. I think a little bit of that. Uh, you know, Nandor is going to find out, and he's going to be mad. Right. 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 Probably. Yeah, because he did say if that happened, it would be so humiliating that I would have to kill you and kill myself. So that's also another thing mm -hmm. that obviously Guillermo wouldn't want Nandor to kill himself or kill him. Right. I feel like he would be guilty of, you know. Yeah. And so. we've seen like little alliances on the show before too. So like maybe Lazlo tries to help him figure it out or like Lazlo, how yeah. he, you know, he, he sired uh, baby Colin Robinson, you know, like right. he's... He's like a, he's like the dad kind of. It's like dad, I yeah, I crashed the car. You know, it's like, well, uh, <laughs> we got we're gonna have to tell your mother. She's gonna be pretty disappointed, but you know, let me yeah. take some of the brunt for you. Or, or I mean, even he offered. He's like, well, maybe I'll just have Nandor bite him. I can can I? He says like that's the, his solution. Is like, yeah, I can I can I, I know that you've wanted to be a a vampire for a long time and. Like I've never helped you do that, but I in this case I would because I don't want you to be fucked. So I could convince right. Nandor to bite I'll you. I'll convince Nandor to bite you. Right. And then yeah, but now you know, we know that he would just explode <laughs> hilariously. So, so do you think Lazlo would like try to help him out or what? Yeah, I think that would be a fun the two of them kind of working together to try to get this uh, make this happen somehow, like get this worked out. Either without right. letting Nandor find out or, or whatever, you know, I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, but that's a good point. Yeah, he was. It is a lot like that sort of like, well, we'll tell your mother. Like, yeah, something like that. Some sort of secret that only the two of them have. Right. How they're right. going to get out. So, and then if all like, the vampires know, how are they going to react? You know what I mean? Like, because they could shun him right. pretty easily and whatever. Yeah. Especially Nandor. Andy. Yeah, well, yeah, Andy, right? So what a random name for a vampire. Like, that explains yeah, so much. That explains so and much. And Derek is such a, <laughs> like, you know, I, I, I do love the people that uh, come to some of these nerdy shows we put on. But, like, that guy was, like, definitely, like, that guy goes to PAX. Derek the vampire goes to, like, the PAX <laughs> concerts at night. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, he, he's like, four my might all little wuckle. Yeah. Condria. Derek. Or <laughs> yeah. Derek has grown on me for sure. He has really. Uh, I, at first, I was like, "Oh, another vampire. We don't have room for another character." But he is really funny in this. These two episodes, Derek is great. I really love it. Yeah, he's hilarious. So, I'm okay with more Derek now. Yeah, and like he's like the. I mean, obviously, like because he's like such a nerd. Uh, and he was in the. I'm taking it way back. Like he was in like the vampire hunting club or something, right? Where they Yeah. Yeah. So like uh, but also just kind of like he's not the he's not a good vampire. Like as yeah, far as like no, he doesn't he's like, like, the he sight doesn't of like blood. <laughs> he's like other people's blood is fine, but I can't see yeah. my own. I just faint. I have low blood sugar, is what he says. 
low blood pressure low blood pressure low blood pressure yeah yeah, yeah i was just like oh man i know it's he's, he's really funny i mean it's great they bring in and these he's characters. working in a fucking 7-eleven right after <laughs> right after guillermo gave him like all this money you yeah, know he's, he's still working he's cleaning there. out toilets you know like he's cleaning the fucking toilets at this convenience store yeah like why why well i guess that's kind of that's part of the, the thing too like that guillermo does say like to the camera at the end i think it was the end of the first episode he's like vampires aren't really any better off than humans like they have problems too you know kind of yeah like, right 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 so it's kind of like a fun yeah and here's this guy like he has this crappy job <laughs> working at this convenience store and yeah, he's like, oh, I can't multitask or whatever that he says. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's still or prioritize. It was yeah. multitask. It was. Task management. Uh, yeah, prioritization or whatever. You know, like yeah, definitely. So yeah, I mean, it is, and we'll have to see if Nadja um, can commit an act of kindness, I guess, to get this hex lifted. And maybe who put who put the hex on, and you know, find out what's going on with all that. Yeah, you don't no. think that's just a uh, want this episode uh, thing? You think that's uh, going to carry out? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe it is. But the predict my prediction is that it will continue, but maybe not. Maybe you're right. Maybe they wrapped it up, and that was it. Because she was hanging out with all the other Greeks. Yeah, yeah. She's like, oh, my Nana used to you know, run a diner like this. And it's like yeah. she ran a diner in ancient Greece. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, it was like. But that is a very like, as you know, that's like a very Staten Island, New York, like New Jersey thing is like the Greek <laughs> diner, right? Yes. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's funny. <laughs> we'll have to see. We'll have to see what the season holds. So you say 10 episodes, right? Yeah, it's usually 10. Yeah. Yeah, somewhere in that. I noticed the next episode is called Pride Parade. So I don't know if there's like a, a you know, Pride Day and, and whatnot. Yeah, oh, so that should be exciting. You got Harvey and everything. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's probably way gay. It's, it might be a little. I'm yeah, into you're it. right. Harvey. Uh, yeah, the actor who plays. It's like the, uh, the there's like this shirt I keep seeing online. It's like. That sounds gay. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's nice. I like that. They're using that. Yeah. They're that taking sounds, it back. That sounds gay. I'm in. <laughs> yeah. They're taking that. I mean, that wasn't, I mean, I hate to say this, like, but yeah. When we oh, were when we kids, said that 20 years ago, it meant something different. Right. When we were younger people, it was not, it wasn't a, you know, it, it was an insulting thing that you said to say, oh, that's so yeah. gay. You know? I think oh, it, I, I, Sarah Silverman talks about it on her most recent uh, thing that's on HBO now, or it's on, well, it's on Max now, I guess. But she's right. like, because she's from New England too. And she's, she like talks about how people used to say that all the time. And it was just regular. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I know. So. Not even, again, not like it's more out of ignorance than anything right. else but it wasn't good we definitely yeah. you know we shouldn't have said it but you know we did but yeah so good they're taking it back yeah i'm in so, well for the pride I mean, parade is the next episode i'm in that's, that's what i said i'm in we're in we're in. we're definitely uh, in yeah uh so i think we can wrap right uh, yeah actually it was else? good uh, i worked out i think with the yeah the, yeah we uh the two i feel like the two episodes really are uh you know a one hour uh like uh, one story yeah yeah you know what i mean no, like i feel like there's something not not just because they released it at at the same time but i feel like it's you know even like when right. um when lazo was like i agree with uh, with Gizmo about the hip that was like a callback to the first episode. Like, so yeah, I, it, think, I feel like it, it was, was like basically a, this one is the episode, one hour yeah. premiere. So yeah, maybe that's why they right. do it that way. Yeah, I think I think so. Um, I think you're right. It was kind of because they were both half hour, and we both me, know, so. and we know the you know hashtag the problem. We know, yeah, we know that he's you know he's been attempted to be made a vampire i guess we could say and that <laughs> they've uh, the the first uh attempts to try to fix it aren't working so yeah. uh th so that's the hashtag problem for this you know the, yeah. this season as you say 
So we'll see how they how they work it out. But I'm excited, and uh, yeah, we'll have to see. It's but good, especially parade. with the writers' strike and everything. Like, I guess, you know, like, we are lucky we get this. So, uh, yeah. you know, could, yeah. the season six could be delayed, but it's the best show right. going, so I hope it doesn't last too long. That's true. That's true. Uh, all right, well, listen to us, if you will please listen to us anywhere but if you have the opportunity to listen to us on spotify that would be great we're trying to get our numbers up over there so if you have spotify if you have an account over there that would be lovely to listen to us on spotify but listen to us wherever you want you know yeah we're we're, we're everywhere but but the um uh, but thing i've been you saying... will listen i'll just give you the <laughs> i hypnotize you into thinking uh, yeah you will listen to us on Spotify. <laughs> the the other thing I said too last time was like we're, we're now like on the webs. It's easy to do so. So if you're gonna go to like right. our website because you subscribe to us on Apple or anything else, like if you go to our website, every episode will have a Spotify version there for you to listen to so it's if you can't remember where it is leaguepodcast.com has it it's there it's easy it's right at the top of the page just listen to us there or uh, you know it'll open spotify if you look at it on your phone or if you look at it in your browser it'll open it or it'll open it in a browser you can just right. listen there many ways to i mean it's cat. still free it's yeah and it, you know it's free so but so, uh, and then yeah. shout out to our uh, those anticipating this episode, which they aren't in our Vampire Council Facebook <laughs> group. And if you're not, just search Vampire Council on Facebook, and you'll find us, and you'll see uh, all the versions of the show there when we post it as well. Yes, that is true. It's got a fun little group over there. Shout out, <laughs> thanks to you. Thanks to you. That's exactly, the, that's for the biggest. We've been podcasting for a while, but we never really have like a like a group to you know group to yeah. stay to really talk about like we do have one for the other podcast but that one's like act this the vampire council one is like fans of the show so uh we yeah 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 you, uh, checking in there yeah that's right well yeah thanks for listening everybody um and we'll talk to you all soon we'll see you later all right you ready for the countdown oh yeah 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 here we go let's do this Who's counting down? Do I? Uh, I'll do count, I down. count down. Okay. Three, two, one, bad. So three, <laughs> two, one, bad. bad! It's one of the hardest uh, guitar pieces in the world to play.